Kim Giratano. I'm Sisters in Crimes Chapters Liaison, and I'm also the author of Death of a Dancing Queen, which is my PI novel that just came out from Detour Books on Valentine's Day. And I'm here to give you a sync up tip about my four act structure, which is also called the two body plot. And I also stole it from PD James. So it is not my invention, but I use it. I love it. And it keeps me from having to restructure novels later on. In fact, I've never had to restructure a novel when I've been using the system. So first and foremost, I break down my novel writing, my drafting into four acts. And then those acts are broken down further into scenes. I do not write in chapters until the very end of the novel. And then I break up my scenes arbitrarily into chapters. That's just not how I think. So I do my, um, I break up my manuscript into four acts. And the first act is usually about 10 scenes, maybe anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 words. And the first act is where I introduce my protagonist, my suspects, the side characters, and of course, the crime, because that's the best part. And at the end of the first act is typically when my protagonist, in the case of Death of a Dancing Queen, my private eye, takes on the crime. She's like, all right, this is, this is my case. And with act two, this is when my protagonist is interviewing suspects and is collecting clues. And based on what she's gathering is sort of the direction she moves in, which isn't going to always be the right direction at first but she's working with what she's got. And we know suspects lie, so she has to kind of work with that. At the end of the second act is when I drop, drop that second body. Um, it could be a new murder victim, it could be an old murder victim, but it is something, another crime. It doesn't even have to be a murder, but it's something that forces my protagonist to have to change direction or to realize that she has been following the wrong lead, the red herrings. And then we get into the third act. And so this is when my protagonist has a plan. She is focused, she's on the right track, but at the same time, the antagonist is also feeling a lot more pressure for my protagonist. And so the danger heightens and we see a lot more um, tension. At the end of the third act is when we have the clash between my protagonist and the antagonist where all, all is revealed. She knows who did the crime and why, and um, there is a big face off that is full of tension, full of excitement. And the fourth act is the, the resolution where we see how everything is tied together. Any other loose threads or subplots that I have going are tied up here as well. And that is my four act structure. Each, um, the first act is about 10, 10 scenes. Acts two and three are roughly anywhere between 20 to 25 scenes. And then the final act could be five to eight again. I usually, usually each scene is sort of a chapter. I'll have like 60 and I will get about 80,000 words for my novel. So this structure really works for me and I like it. Thank you, PD James. And um, what I also do is um, I just started doing, so this is a new tip for me, is I've been putting the <laughs> scenes into Excel and then I will use this as my outline when I'm working in Scrivener. And this is what I'll be talking about at our webinar on March 30th, I believe at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing a nice panel and I'm gonna be talking about using Excel to, to plot. So I hope you guys will come and check that out. It'll be pretty awesome.